Welcome to my city. Thanks, man. You know? Como te llamas? Weed Killer. Weed Killer, alright. Alright, we're over here in Weed Killer City, apparently. Alright. Here's the beautiful van we're finna take to Minka. All right, now we're on the way to one of my favorite places, Minka. We can take a bus from Santa Marta to Minka in about 45 minutes. So you can go from the beach to the lush mountains and waterfalls of Minka in only 45 minutes. We just arrived here in the beautiful Minka. You can see the mountains behind me. Me and Daniela are gonna go check out this really beautiful hostel over here. But wow, look at the view. Look at that. That's what you see when you first arrive here in Minka. So, you know, as you can tell, off to a good start. So you arrive right here. If you come right up here and go down this road, there's going to be a beautiful hostel. It's got its own river and everything. Right next to this graffiti. I'm going to go check. All right, you guys. I'm walking here in Minka. Trying to find this beautiful waterfall I've never been to. So, the guy said it was 20 minutes walking. I've been walking for about 10 minutes. We thought he saw a sign that said 80%, but we're gonna find out. Let's check this out. You got these huge, giant, like, trees. They look like big bamboo or something. Makes for a real nice view. If you look at that. I don't know exactly what those are, if you know, she does apparently. What are they called? Guadua. Guadua. Yeah. All right, if you guys want to try to sound that out and look it up, there you go. It looks to me like some giant, giant bamboo. On the way to the other waterfall, it makes like a big arch, kind of like this, right above you. You can get a nice picture there. Minka really is super picturesque. Great for Instagram photos for sure. Let's see this waterfall. I'm gonna see, I'll let you guys know. This waterfall is better than the other one. I don't know, the other one so I think it's a lot more touristy so we'll find out. So far, I haven't seen anybody walk into this one. It's pretty empty. Just us two, me and Daniela. On the grind, on the way to the, on the way to the waterfall, right, Daniela? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, right. Look at that. You know, the one thing about Colombia is you do all these nice hikes, walk up to all these waterfalls, put you in phenomenal shape, you know? Woo hoo hoo, look at that. Oh shit. The six pack's looking pretty visible, can't lie. You know why? It's from walking all the time. Like two weeks ago, I was just eating a bunch of bad shit and I did not have that. Now, just walking around. And Yella thinks we should go this way for some reason. If she insists, what an adventurer Daniela is. Look, she just chose to go this dangerous route. Imagine I recording. Whoa, I was just about to say, imagine me recording myself falling down. Yo, that would have been terrible. It would have been all Daniela's fault too. That shit will... Gotta keep the, the adrenaline high on these hikes, you know? That's why I'm looking at the camera and not where I'm walking. Cause you know, I like to keep the adrenaline high. Keep the blood pumping. Look at this dangerous route. And she did not take us to the waterfall. She took us to the river. Would you guys swim in this river right here? Would you swim in here? 
Would you swim? Danielle would swim in here. I would also probably swim in here. It looks pretty nice. You may have to do it. You can't tell. I'm getting a good workout in this beautiful Colombian heat. On the way to Minca. Check this out. Check out this view. And check out this house. Holy shit, imagine having that house. Look at this view on the way to the waterfall. Oof. Yo, I would love, absolutely love to have a house like that. I don't know how a easy it is to access the outside shit I might need, but... Wow, look at that view. That's absolutely spectacular. Look at this. This had this sign to say that we arrived, right? No more, no more pointers, just like the waterfall. Like it's right here. It's, this sign's been here like three times. And each time it's still a lot longer walking. So I don't believe that shit, just know. Also some guy told me it's gonna be 20 minutes walking. And I feel like I've been walking a whole lot longer than 20 minutes. Cannot lie. Beautiful, beautiful walk. But definitely not 20 minutes. Unless we arrive right now, which we might because there's another sign right there, then maybe it was about 20 minutes. And it just felt long because it was a steep 20 minutes. Look at this house being built here. I really wonder, um, Global Communities Canada or something. I really do wonder how much uh, it will cost to get a house built here. See how they have Casa Emily here? Imagine having Casa J, Casa Tarzan, out here in this beautiful city of Minka. Well, it's not a city, it's a town. But, you know, look at this. This fine architecture, I would love that. Oh my god, it's got another arrow. That means we're not that close. Yeah. Maybe that little kid who told us it was uh, 15 hours walking, uh, he might have been telling the truth. And the hostel, we still have not reached the hostel. I assumed one of those buildings must have been it. Oh my god. It doesn't not look promising since we're crossing the river right here. Alright, it says it's better than the other waterfall, so we're about to fucking find out right now. It's talking that shit, saying better than Poco Azul. Let's see. After this treacherous trek. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty nice. And not that long. Just, uh, sprucing it up a bit. It's honestly a phenomenal workout and a beautiful walk. It's just, I planned on going back to uh, Santa Marta today, so... The only reason I'm rushing it, because uh, my favorite place, one of my favorite places in the world, Valley de Cocora, Cocora Valley, is like, which I'm probably saying not the best, is literally like a five-hour walk to the Hummingbird Sanctuary, and, and then a walk back, and one of the greatest days of my life. So I do love the long walks. Look at this. What is this? You came to paradise. Yeah, right. I'm about to just open the door. Fuck out of here. Exactly, the door is open. Call them to tell them to pay them. Yeah. Right. If they happen to be there, they'll get paid. But if not, it's looking slow for them. Bow. Look, and Daniela's about that life. She don't care about paying these people. Right, Daniela? <laughs> Why did you pay them? Because it says you're supposed to call the number when you arrive. Uh, 
Yeah. So you can call them and then tell them that to come so you can give them 5000 Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a really good That's deal. Really cool. If you guys want to uh, give somebody 5000 call that number when you arrive to these uh, to these waterfalls and you'll be extremely satisfied. They'll definitely take your 5000 Don't worry. <laughs> Dangerous. You know, hiking to a waterfall in Colombia is a lot of uh, getting your hopes up when it looks like it's about to be a place with a waterfall, and then you just realize that the waterfall is still a little ways away. So you just keep walking because you already walked pretty far, and the guy said 20 minutes, and you don't want to, you know, go all the way back for nothing. So you just keep walking and then you get real something real promising. It really looks like there's gonna be a, a place there and then yet again. Not yet. So Colombian 20 minutes is like 40 minutes. <laughs> tip, that's a good tip. Does Daniela agree? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna actually make a video when I fucking find the waterfall. So all right, you guys, absolutely soaking, dripping wet, you fucking sweat. I arrived here at the waterfall. Oh my fucking God, that shit was so far. So dangerous to walk. We accidentally like hiked down that, if you can imagine. Not a good idea. But now here we are. It's just but now here we are at this incredible waterfall. Look at that. You can swim right here, and then it goes down to another small waterfall, and then into the river. Beautiful. Que piensas, Daniela? She loves it, said it's beautiful. Ooh. Well, I've never wanted to swim so bad in my entire life. So I'm about to swim right now, but wow, this was probably worth the hike. Beautiful, incredible. All right, we just went to the waterfall, but this is the, the view from the place where you have to pay to get to the waterfall. Incredible, look at that. You can get a nice cold beer here if you'd like. Nice hamaka, nice hammock. And you can get, uh, just get taking these incredible views. Holy shit. All right, that's my little hiking tour of Minka. I hope you guys enjoyed. It truly is one of my favorite places here in Colombia with the mountains and the waterfalls. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe for more.